Whenever Elon Musk drops a Starship update, the space community holds its breath. Is it the allure of the impossible becoming reality? Or the sheer audacity of pushing boundaries we thought were unbreakable? But this time, it's not just an update. It's a shockwave. A new record for the Raptor engine has been revealed. And the numbers are mind-bending. This isn't just progress. It's an evolution at warp speed. Just how much power are we talking about? What's driving this relentless innovation at SpaceX? Brace yourselves. Today on TechMap, we dissect the new Raptor, uncover its secrets, and explore the future it's forging. Get ready to have your imagination ignited. Anyway, our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. Firstly, what is exactly a Raptor engine? Simply put, it's the powerhouse that will launch Starship to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. It uses a special combo of supercooled methane and oxygen, or methalox, making it super efficient. So, Raptor's not just one thing. It's a family of engines, like different models of a car. They started with the first Raptor, learned a lot, and kept making it better and better. Now, Raptor 4 is like the souped-up, turbocharged version. Raptor 4 is where things get really exciting. According to Elon Musk, Raptor 4 will certainly reach 300 tons of thrust at liftoff, and sure, it's not a small number. To make the comparison, Raptor 3 has a thrust of 269 metric tons, while Raptor 2 has a thrust of 230 metric tons. This means Raptor 4 has at least 31 tons force more thrust than Raptor 3 and 70 tons force more thrust than Raptor 2. Then, let's expand the comparison to other engines in the industry. The BE-4 engine already boasted greater power than the Raptor 2, with a thrust of 250 tons, or 550,000 pounds. However, upon its launch, Raptor 4 with 300 teraflops will surge ahead delivering a thrust that is 20% higher than that of the BE-4. Now, let's substitute the BE-4 with the RS-25, the engine utilized on NASA's Space Launch System SLS. In terms of standalone thrust, the RS-25 falls short, achieving only 189 tons or 418,000 pounds force. This means that Raptor 4 will outperform the RS-25 by up to 59%. Moreover, the RS-25 is inherently less powerful than the current Raptor 2. When combined with solid side boosters, the SLS exhibits a liftoff thrust of 8 million pounds, merely half of that of the current Starship. Thus, the introduction of Raptor 3 or Raptor 4 may further widen the disparity between SpaceX's rockets and NASA's rockets. Indeed, the SpaceX founder added that a group of more than 30 Raptor 4s combined would produce a total thrust of 10,000 tons for Starship, nearly three times the thrust of the Saturn V rocket, which was used in the Apollo missions. Meanwhile, equipped with the Raptor 2 version, Starship has a force twice as potent as that of the Saturn V. This comes from the fact that Saturn V is powered by the Rocketdyne F-1 engines which have 690 tons each, twice as powerful as Raptor 4. However, with five F-1 engines, it would result in only 3,450 tons, or 7.61 million pounds, merely half that of the current Starship version, and one-third that of Starship powered by Raptor 4. In addition to thrust comparisons, another significant parameter is the engine's chamber pressure. While Raptor 2 achieved a chamber pressure of 300 bar, testing suggests that Raptor version 3 reached 350 bar. It's anticipated that Raptor 4 will surpass this, showcasing its superiority over the engines listed earlier. The BE-4 reaches only 140 bar. The RS-25 achieves 206.4 bar, and the RD-180 manages 267 bar significantly lower compared to Raptor 2, Raptor 3, and the anticipated capabilities of Raptor 4. 
the power of Raptor engines is on full display during Starship test flights. Mind you, that's just version 2. So, buckle up, hold your snacks tight, and prepare to have your jaw drop faster than your Wi-Fi during a storm when the next generations take flight. With Raptor 4, I wonder how close we are to the limit of the material science for something like this. In a tweet on X, Elon Musk indicated that Raptor is at the edge of current material science capabilities, pushing the limits of what is physically possible in terms of pressure and temperature tolerance. Raptor operates close to the ragged edge of physics. The tweet relates to the cutting-edge nature of the Raptor engine's design, which uses a full-flow staged combustion cycle, a significant advancement over traditional rocket engine designs, and underscores the continuous push in aerospace engineering to explore new boundaries. Although there's not much concrete information about this fourth generation, given the Raptor's general formula of evolution, we'll probably see another reduction in other external parts, further increasing a thrust-to-weight ratio. The engine mass of Raptor 3 is 1,525 kilograms, whereas Raptor 2 weighs 1,630 kilograms. So guess how much will Raptor 4 weigh? All right, let's put your prediction powers to the test in the comments section below. Okay, I'll go first. About 1,000 kilograms. Just kidding. Or am I secretly a baby elephant typing this? Another important point is about price which contributes a lot to SpaceX's goal of reducing the cost per Starship launch to $2 million. To make it possible, the company must optimize the production cost of the next Raptor versions. So, how can they do that? Frankly, $2 million is also the early production cost per Raptor engine. Specifically, as of mid-2019, Musk reported that each early Raptor 1 prototype cost more than $2 million for what would turn out to be 185 tons of thrust, roughly $11,000 per ton. So expensive. In response, SpaceX aimed to simplify the Raptor 2 engine by eliminating much of its complex plumbing. The ultimate goal is to eventually reduce the cost of Raptor 2 production to $1,000 per ton of thrust or $230,000 at Raptor 2's target of 230 tons, roughly 510,000 pounds force of thrust. CEO Elon Musk confirmed the removal of the complex torch igniter system for the main combustion chamber. These simplifications made Raptor 2 easier to manufacture, which was reflected in increased production. Despite these simplifications, SpaceX increased Raptor 2's thrust by 25%, while only sacrificing 1% of Raptor 1's efficiency. The results are clear. From February 2018, it took SpaceX 36 months to produce the first 100 Raptor 1 engines. In contrast, they produced 200 Raptor 2 engines in just 11 to 12 months. This represents a six-fold increase in production rate, and the actual rate could be even higher. Although Elon Musk aimed to produce one Raptor engine every 12 hours by the end of 2019, this goal took longer to achieve. In October 2022, a NASA official revealed that SpaceX had sustained a production rate of one Raptor 2 engine per day for a week. This high production rate is necessary because the Starship rocket requires a large number of engines. Six to nine for the Starship upper stage and 33 for the Super Heavy booster. Additionally, Elon implemented a strategy to identify and address inefficiencies in engine component costs, aiming for a tenfold cost reduction. Musk used the Idiot Index, the ratio of a component's total cost to its raw materials cost, to pinpoint overly complex or inefficiently manufactured parts. By focusing on parts requiring high-precision machining and adopting cost-saving techniques from the auto industry, SpaceX developed a roadmap to reduce engine costs from $2 million to $230,000 within a year. Of course, to have the powerful and advanced Raptor engines we see today, the SpaceX team has to face many challenges. Creating reusable rocket engines is significantly harder than building single-use ones. 
the components, especially the turbo pumps, face extreme conditions repeatedly. While single-use engines bleed off fuel, an oxidizer to power the turbo pumps, creating a visible fuel-rich exhaust, reusable engines demand more. Advanced designs like the SpaceX Raptor use closed cycle systems for greater efficiency, but this pushes turbine temperatures even higher. Regardless of the design, key components must endure incredible stress. Furthermore, reusable engines need to restart reliably, adding further complexity. The engine bell also needs to withstand intense heat cycles without failing. Ultimately, reusable rocket engines push materials and design to their absolute limits while demanding repeated reliability. Not to mention, they need to be extra careful against the insane destruction of 33 Raptors combined. So, what if all 33 Raptors performed well? Starship will reach orbit easily. What if they explode? Well, it is truly a disaster. The sheer power of 33 Raptor engines presents both immense potential and significant risk. If all engines perform flawlessly, Starship could easily reach orbit. However, engine failure could lead to catastrophic consequences. The failed launch on April 20th demonstrated this danger, resulting in widespread destruction and a large debris field. Even ground testing has proven hazardous, as evidenced by the Booster 7 incident. The FAA's caution in granting launch permits and SpaceX's own challenges in managing these engines highlight the inherent difficulties and dangers of controlling such extreme power. Or the latest incident is in the Starship Flight 7, which launched on January 16, 2025, experienced an explosion approximately 8.5 minutes after liftoff. The Super Heavy booster successfully returned to Starbase and was caught by the launch tower. However, the Ship 33 upper stage, intended to deploy dummy satellites and splash down in the Indian Ocean, suffered a fire near the aft flap motor port during ascent, which may have been caused by a propellant leak. This led to engines cutting out, and ultimately, the ship exploded high over the Atlantic Ocean near the Turks and Caicos Islands. The crash forced airline flights over the Gulf of Mexico to alter course to avoid falling debris. The FAA activated a debris response area and briefly slowed or stopped aircraft. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk indicated that a likely cause was an oxygen-slash-fuel leak in the cavity above the ship's engine firewall. The FAA is requiring a mishap investigation into the incident to determine the root cause and implement corrective actions with SpaceX leading the investigation and the FAA approving the final report. This clearly leads to the delay of the upcoming Starship flights. Despite past challenges, SpaceX has consistently demonstrated its ability to overcome obstacles in pursuit of ambitious goals. Years before the Raptor, the company faced numerous setbacks with the Merlin engine during the Falcon 1's early development, 2004-2009, and even encountered issues during the Falcon 9's creation. Today, the Falcon 9 and its Merlin engine are workhorses, responsible for launching Lion part of Earth's total payload mass into orbit, setting a new record for SpaceX. Given this track record, it's reasonable to be optimistic about the Raptor project. The next Starship test represents a critical juncture, providing invaluable insights into the future development path of these revolutionary engines. This groundbreaking propulsion system is core to SpaceX's plans for deep space exploration and the establishment of a sustainable human presence on other celestial bodies.